Today on our 2011 Nissan Xterra, we're going to be taking a look at the Takancha Primus IQ Trailer Brake Controller for one to three axles, part number TK90160. And we'll be using this in conjunction with the Takancha Plug-in Wiring Adapter for brake controllers for Nissans, part number 3050-P. Here's what this brake controller looks like once it's installed in the vehicle. This brake controller is going to do a good job of giving us power to our brakes on our trailer that's behind us. Now this one, we don't currently have it connected to a trailer, so if we hit the manual override, you'll see it shows NC for no connection. But when connected, it'll show you the power output that it's putting through to a trailer. Here on the side, we've got this turn dial to adjust your gain level for the amount of power being sent back to the brakes on your trailer. And then here on the top, we've got this blue button, and that's gonna let you go through to your three boost levels so that you can adjust the amount of boost that's gonna go back to the trailer brakes. This brake controller is nice and easy to use, and it's gonna do a great job of providing proportional braking power to the brakes on your trailer. And it does that by the inertia sensor that it has inside. So you're able to mount it from zero degrees all the way up to 90 degrees in the vertical plane. What I like most about this brake controller is how easy it is to use and operate. Because it's as simple as setting it, and if you wanna set a boost level, you can do that. And then you've also got your manual override here if you need it. Now that we've gone over some features, let's go ahead and show you how to install this brake controller. First, we'll need to locate our plug in order to plug in our adapter for our brake controller. And right up here, underneath the driver's side dash, above where the gas pedal is, you'll find this white plug. So then we'll take our adapter and plug it in and make sure that they fully seat and click together. Now the next thing we'll need to do is find a good position to mount our brake controller itself. And on this one, we're gonna mount it just right up here underneath where the ignition cylinder is so it's up out of the way of the driver's legs. So now I'll take the bracket and I'll use my self-tapping screws and mount my bracket to the dash. We'll take the connector coming off our adapter and plug it in to the back of our brake controller. And you want to make sure that that locks in over that tab. So now we'll get our brake controller, put it up in the position there, and line it up with the hole and slotted hole in our bracket. Then we can begin installing the screws once we've got it at the angle we want. And once we've got them all in there, we can tighten our screws down. We'll take our excess wire for our adapter and we'll bundle it up and zip tie it up out of the way. And that's going to complete our look at the Takancha Primus IQ trailer brake controller for one to three axles, part number TK90160, that we used in conjunction with part number 3050-P on our 2011 Nissan. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.